I'm Sean Stokes, Fire Chief of the Dunloring Volunteer Fire and Rescue Department. We're here to take delivery of our new Type 1 pumper. Dunloring is a uh, predominantly suburban area. It's a bedroom community of Washington, D.C. Um, 70 years ago, it was all peach orchards and goat farms, and today it is pretty much all developed. Uh, we do have, though, the uniqueness of having a very urban area, Tyson's Corner, as part of our first do, and a, a wide range of, of target hazards from your typical schools and nursing homes to the Capitol Beltway, uh, largest mall in the region, metro rail yards, and, and we're second or third due to the, to the CIA headquarters. So we have a wide range of, uh, of threats in the area. So the truck's got a 1,500 gallon per minute pump. It has 750 gallons of water on board, along with a 40 gallon uh, foam cell, but no foam system. Uh, the cell is intended just to be able to provide foam to an uh, inline inductor that we can attach to the truck to, to simplify the, the foam system and the foam application for when we do use it. The unique position that we are one of the partner VFDs that work with Fairfax County Fire and Rescue. So the specification and build of the truck uh, is driven a lot in that with that partnership with the county apparatus shop. Uh, so we're unique in being a volunteer fire department that's working in a very large system. So a lot of the requirements of the truck are driven by the needs of the county. Um, we do have the opportunity to be able to innovate and one of those ways uh, was dealing with decon with firefighter cancer rates being such a uh, important issue right now at the, at the national level. Uh, we wanted to be able to put a decon system on this truck to be able to make it more uh, inviting for firefighters to want to be able to decon by having heated water and uh, that was one of the big features that, that we wanted to add in as a something unique above and beyond the specifications we already had. We've been yellow, uh, white over yellow for almost 40 years now. Um, we had been approached by uh, the county fire chief at the time asking if we would go to a base red scheme. Um, the, the decision point was around we wanted to be able to have base red to, to, to answer that request but also be able to be very distinctive in the community and so that was where we chose the blue over red. Um, it did have a tie back to the local high school in our first due that, that we work with um, and then just as we started to look at the graphics package it started to take on a little bit more of a, of a patriotic tone and uh, it's how we've ended up with what we have uh, behind me. The, the process was, uh, was very positive. Um, this is the third engine that uh, I've been party to uh, the process of in my career and uh, it's been very smooth. Um, E1 has done a, a very good job of the, from, the, from the specifications to the engineering uh, to the build. We know that any custom vehicle is going to be, uh, is always going to have uh, write-ups on it and the process they have here at the factory to help us to document that and be able to track those things when we do the inspections um, is second to none and, and something we've never seen before. So it's, it's definitely, uh, definitely a class act and uh, definitely something that is uh, worthwhile uh, for anybody looking to buy a, a fire engine. As I always like to say, there's that first turn around the corner. When you, when you come in to look at a, a custom vehicle for the first time, you're always apprehensive because you just never know. Um, and this one was very exciting. As a matter of fact, some of our other committee members got here ahead of me and they were saying they're going, we want to watch his reaction. Like they're chasing me down the hall to see my reaction for when I saw the truck. Um, it was, um, it's always exciting to see. You, you always had that little apprehension of, did we do it right? Did we not do it right? Um, and uh, I couldn't have been more pleased when I turned the corner.